Hey there, this is Brandon, and this will be my chart review for Monday, March 28th. Um, it's been a little, uh, been a few days since I did a video um, last week and uh, this weekend, and it's going to continue this week as well. Um, I've been uh, some basically just working on a project uh, for myself and my family. Uh, we're trying to um, purchase a home. And so I've been uh, doing some house hunting and other kind of uh, kinds of business related to that. <clears throat> so I haven't had a whole lot of uh, opportunity to trade. Um, and uh, I did trade last week on Wednesday. Um, and then I had some, some things going on Wednesday night. So I never had a chance to re record a video. Um, I traded on Thursday morning and did okay and then I actually went skiing and I uh, was gone all day and I'm pretty much all evening as well um, so I didn't have a chance to record a video with that and then I was busy over the weekend and just didn't didn't want to uh, do anything as far as that goes I was busy with other things so anyway um, the uh, long story short I, I've, I struggle a lot on Wednesday um, so remember, let's see, on Monday and Tuesday, I did well. I, I had started to trade two contracts at a time, and then I just completely blew it on Wednesday and took a big loss um, and basically reverted back to phase one in a single contract. Um, Thursday, I made some money before I left for skiing, and today I got to a point where I just stopped um, I, I hit that and and just quit um, so there's something been going on with me lately as far as the simulator trading again as you all know probably that this is all just simulated trading it's real market data of course but it's it's a simulated demo account so it's not any real money that I'm making or losing um, Okay, I had an interruption, but I was talking about the fact that I'm doing simulated trading, and there's something that happens. I don't, I don't, I can't quite explain it, but it's it's as if I I don't really care, and I give myself permission to deviate from the rules when I'm on the simulator. Um, and I'll give you an example from today. Uh, I started out with a, a good trade right here, got the little failed second entry long, and uh, used the limit order, got the scalp. Um, didn't wasn't really sure what was going on in this area so I missed missed these couple of trades I was away from my screen when that happened unfortunately um, and that turned out to be kind of a repeat pattern this big bearish bar goes one tick lower and then breaks out the high big bearish bar goes a couple ticks lower and then fails big bearish bar couple ticks lower and fails big bearish bar uh, and that in, ca in that case it made an equal low, but you got to you know it's a, it, it basically is kind of a repeat pattern for today. It's really slow today, um, but there were definitely some good longs in here um, and a couple of nice shorts as well. Um, but after that one trade there, notice I went notice the high here, first entry pullback, second entry long, and it failed right there. And I, I didn't enter when I should have. I mean, if I was going to go short, I should have had a stop waiting right here. And that definitely would not have worked. Um, let's see, the low there is 23 and a quarter. So I would have gone short with a stop at 23 even. And the low here is 22 even. So the simulator probably would have given me the four tick scalp, but that would have been definitely questionable. Um, and so instead, I used a limit order. I went short there, and I lost. Okay, so but no big deal. But then look what I did. I went short again here, just shorted it blindly, sweated seven ticks, and then I didn't take a four-tick scalp. I actually took a nine-tick scalp. Um, and I, you know, that's that's not following the rules. That's not the way I'm supposed to trade. It worked out. I definitely got like a miracle fill right there. Uh, if it was real trading, I probably would not have gotten that fill. 
Um, you know, so that's essentially a bogus trade right there. And then notice the low, first entry short, pull back second entry short. I went long right there. Now this one I did it right, but uh, I just I just was going long right into that resistance area, and I failed to have that line drawn. And so uh, it, it's not surprising that it went three ticks my way and reversed and, and stopped me out. And then I made a, a, a big mistake here, thinking that this was resistance and we were going to retest these lows. That's what I thought. And, and so I went, after getting stopped, stopped out here, I went short a couple ticks higher and it reversed. And, and look at the stop I took. I, put, I had my stop two ticks above this previous high, which was a lot more than eight ticks. Um, so I just took a giant loss there. Uh, I went short here thinking that this was kind of a supply area right here where there was this big drop down. Uh, so I just blindly went short there. It went two or three ticks against me. And it went as many as, I believe, eight or nine ticks my way. But I didn't take a profit. And instead, I let it back up against me. <sighs> and then I went long and got stopped out again. So I don't know what's going on. It's just ridiculous trading horrible uh, you know poor decision making I'm changing my targets I'm changing my stop losses and it's just completely bogus so based on all of that and just not doing not trading correctly with the simulated account I actually switched over to my live account and made a couple of trades there so I'll pause it and switch over and show you so here's the trades I made in the live account um, and I started out with a mistake but I quickly corrected it and I actually uh, used a, a double order here to close my long and go short and I took a five tick um, profit but what I was thinking is that we had this low here it was lower than the this swing low so it was a new low first entry short pull back second entry short and it failed right there so I went long um, down here with a limit order and it started going against me right away and I thought you know what I think I've made a mistake here and so I actually closed the trade here for a four tick loss and I went short and then I took a five tick profit down here um, and this is right at two o'clock central that's when I start logging in for work so I was unfortunately not able to really pay close attention and really actually trade the price action in this area uh, I would have definitely gone short right here if I would have been able but I was actually on a phone call when this happened um, I might as well mark it it's a really nice trap it's almost like the mirror image of these uh, these uh, bear traps in here 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 and here it's like the mirror image of that. You get this, um, looks like a bullish reversal. You get a fairly bullish bar. It goes a couple ticks higher, reverses, and drops out the low side there. So I like that as a setup to go short. I was on the phone when that actually happened. And notice the high here. You got a first entry pullback. There's a second entry long right here. Nice bullish bar, um, but it only manages to go a couple of ticks higher and then it failed right there I was on the phone once again otherwise I would have had a stop order right here I don't know if I would have gotten out of the trade um, let's see it's 29 so I would have gone short with a stop at 2875 and this only goes down to 2775 so it probably wouldn't have gotten filled but when it comes back up here, notice it just makes that equal top there, uh, and then it drops down, and I and I would have gotten the maybe I would have gotten the four ticks. You can see what I actually did. I I was late to the party. I sh I sold here with a limit order right at that low. Um, it gave me a sweat, but it never broke higher here. I had my eight tick stop loss in place, um, and then it, when it dropped back down. I got kind of nervous about it and I ended up closing the trade for just two ticks.
So that was kind of a bummer. I, I'm wishing I had stuck stuck to my uh, resolve with the trade. You see, I would have easily been able to get out for four ticks profit. Um, but uh, anyway, so anyway, that's the extent of my uh, my live trading today. Uh, obviously, I made like three ticks. I lost four, made five, and made two. Um, so. So about enough money to, to go to KFC for dinner tonight. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and just kind of review the price action. This was a really clear setup. You have this um, channel working down, tries to go higher once, pulls back, tries to go higher a second time. Nice bearish bar there. It's a failed second entry long right off the EMA, um, and that turns out to be a nice trade. And again, I took that trade with my simulator account. Um, then we got stuck in this really tight trading range, and I didn't really feel comfortable going long or short with this little range. Um, but this is a, this was a nice setup. Notice the high here. It's a double top. Um, tries to go lower once, pulls back, tries to go lower a second time, and that's a nice bearish bar. Um, after a trading range like this, you don't want to go short well below the trading range. So that was a perfect trap. Loaded up, uh, you know, the bears loaded up right here. It went one tick lower uh, and then broke out the high side there. So if I had been watching my screen, I would have had a, a, a buy stop waiting right there. And you would see there's no overlap, so it took off pretty quickly. And um, there was, uh, I believe there was enough room to get out with a four tick scalp before you get to that double top. Let me see here. So the high there is 27. So 27 and a quarter, you go long. And this line is at 28 and a quarter. So I take it back. There's actually not four ticks of room before you get to that. Well, there is four ticks, but you need it to tick through there and give, actually go five ticks. Um, so that perhaps is a little bit risky. Maybe I should change it to to green. I just thought it was a pretty pretty sweet little trap right there. And you can't you can't trade a breakout like that. There's this tight trading range, and you can't go short at the lows. Um, so at the very least, I would not have been going short there. And hopefully I would have recognized that that's a, that was a good place to go long. Um, and then so you kind of have this these uh, upper and lower lines here, but then you also have these lines here. Um, and then you get basically a, a failed breakout of, out of the top. It, tries, it fails out the bottom, fails out the top. And as you might suspect, we traded down into this trading range, and eventually it broke out to the low side. So... I mark this as aggressive. It is a second entry. Notice the low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. And it's a fairly bearish bar. I wasn't excited about it. Um, but the main thing is, is to me, it looked like we were, we were in the middle of a bullish reversal. This just blasted right through the EMA, and you get all these closes above the EMA. And... That's the one thing, though, too, is that you have this bullish bar. And again, it's like the opposite of this. Big bullish bar, one tick higher, and then it fails right there. But it didn't go out the top and then go out the bottom. It, it took a while, so it was tricky. It wasn't, it wasn't abundantly clear that this was a good place to go short until you know hindsight tells you, wow, what a great trade, right? It's also a second entry long, I mean a failed second entry long. Notice the low. This is all a first entry long. There's a pullback, and here's your second entry long. Um, and again, th there's different ways to count the second entries. Like for a second entry long, a lot of times you'll count it from the most recent high. Like you'll have a trend going up, and it makes a new high, and then you get like a two-legged pullback, and you get a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, and you go long. This is a different type where... You have a new trend going higher, and counting from the low, there's a first entry pullback, and there's like a second entry um, long right there. But I just think in a when the price action looks like that so far, 
it's too risky to go long way up there above the EMA. I mean, this is the first sign of life for the bulls. And it's just premature to be, you know, going long. You don't want to go long that high above the EMA unless you've got a really strong bullish trend. This is not a really strong bullish trend. It might turn into a really strong bullish trend, but at the very least, you want to wait for the failed second entry short. And as a matter of fact, I was thinking we might get a failed second entry short. Like when this dropped lower, I was more interested in, in catching a failed second entry short to the long side, honestly, because it looked like the EMA was acting as support and I was ready for this to, to pop higher. It just closed low and it kept going lower. So that was tricky. I, I, in my mind, it was tricky to realize that you need to go short there. But I guess, again, the only clue is that for the most part, it's been bearish. And this is your first trip above the EMA. And it, if anything, it's kind of like a trading range type of area. And you, you want to take that trap to the short side because you've got a bunch of bulls trapped right there with that big bullish bar and the one tick break higher uh, and it fails right there and boom, it's off to the races to the downside. Um, now this is again that, that second entry counting from the most recent high in, in, in uh, you know, the second entry short counting from the high. Again, with a, with a downtrend, you wait for it to make a new low and you get like a two-legged pullback. So it makes a new low, pullback first entry short, pullback second entry short. So that's a second entry short counting from the most recent low. Uh, here's a good example. Okay, downtrend, new low, first entry short, pullback second entry short right there. Um, I don't like it because there's kind of a trend line working higher and I don't want to go short right into that trend line. Um, but that would be a second entry short counting from the low. Here, it's more of a reversal pattern and it's a second entry short counting from the most recent high. First entry short, blasts right through the EMA, nice and bearish, very clear reversal pattern. Uh, and it pulls back and tests the EMA and look at that nice bearish close. It's a slightly higher low than the previous bar. So that's the short. I believe that's the short right there. And I think I actually might have been awake, you know, not paying attention to the screen at this point once again. Uh, again, I got a lot of things on my mind right now and I'm not, you know, I'm taking phone calls and dealing with my agent and the lender. And so there's just too much on my plate right now to really pay attention constantly. Um, but anyway, that's a nice setup there. It's a nice bearish bar. It's a second entry short counting from the high. It's right off the EMA. Um, it's probably a trend line in there as well. And that seems to fit pretty well. So it's right off the trend line also. Uh, so, okay, so then you, uh, you get a break here and it never comes back to retest these lows. So, um, so this was a little bit of a surprise to me. Of course, this all happened super slowly. Um, but I suppose really you could have, let's just see something here. I'm wondering if this lines up at all. It just doesn't line up very well. Yeah, kind of. I, I'm going to leave that unmarked. I, I believe it's too risky. This, this looks really bullish. Um, and, I mean, you could say that the trend line is here. You get a break and a new high. But I'll tell you how many times I've done that. Drawn this, the, the trend line too steep. Figured there's a break and a new high, and then I go short right here, and it turns into a failed second entry short, and it goes higher, and I get burned. That's happened to me many, many times. And so I believe the trend line is actually right there, and I believe it's just too risky to go short right here. It looks like a bullish reversal. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Mac will have that mark. Probably will.
But uh, for me, now I, I, I don't think I'm going to mark that. I mean, you do have an expectation of a retest of this low because there's a pretty clear channel working down. This is the first break of that. It's like a 50 to 60% retracement. Um, yeah, I'll mark it green. We'll see. Mac is the master, and we'll see what he says about that. Of course, his price action might look different as well, but uh, so anyway, we get that repeat pattern. Notice the first entry short. There's a little pullback. Um, that's a pretty nice. It's a pretty nice bearish bar too. Let me just see if that would have worked out. Because notice it ticks higher. And it's just a first entry long, so it's not like the failed second entry long. But uh, let's see, it ticks higher. And then if you had a stop waiting there, that's 24 and a quarter. And it drops down to 23 even. So that would have just worked out. Uh, assuming you were kind of quick enough to, to grab that. It's basically like a second entry short counting again from the high first entry little pullback, second entry short. And it's just, it's nice how it went. It broke through below the EMA, sort of that bearish reversal pattern. I mean, it spent a couple of minutes above the EMA, but then pretty soon thereafter, you get that pretty decisive bearish close back down here below, another close below, another close below, then you get this trap. It pops higher and then breaks out the low side. So, um, and that would have worked. It would have worked just perfectly to get four ticks, uh, not a single tick more. So I'll mark that for a short as well. But really, I, I don't know. It's, uh, you've got that failed second entry short right here and you could treat this as a failed second entry as well from the high first entry pullback second entry. It's also a second entry long and, um, Importantly, it makes a higher low right here. So um, there's your high first entry long, pull back second entry long. Um, but again, it's that really trap-like nature of it, that big, big bearish bar. Um, and it's just time and time again, you know, it's not a good idea to go short below the EMA. I mean, certainly not below that bar. Uh, and... I'll bet you anything, there were quite a few traders that got trapped on the short side there, and then they all had to exit, and it came up higher. So I'm marking that as a long. We'll see what the master says. And then you have, uh, again, this repeat pattern. Notice the high. There's a first entry short, a little pullback, second entry short, big bearish bar, goes two ticks lower, and then it fails. Um, so just go along right there. It's also a hidden second entry. Notice the high pullback first entry. It didn't break higher, but you can count that as a first entry pullback, and there's a second entry long right there. Um, but mainly it's a trap, and notice it's right off of this trend line. I just drew that from the low here right through that close, and it lines up perfectly, and you get the little failure. You get that big bearish bar and it fails and so just go long right there and that's uh, one of the best trades of the day um then you get a uh, just kind of a standard second entry long right here the second entry long is really right here but i believe that's a little bit premature it's a really nice bullish bar um but notice you would have you would have had to sweat this um, it never broke lower than the original signal bar, so that technically is the second entry long. But, again, there's this short-term trend line working lower, and this is the first break of that. So I'm always a little hesitant to, to go long in a situation like that because I want to see it come back here and at least try to retest the low after it makes that break. Um, and it did definitely give a try. It never was able to break lower, which is just another sign that there's that all these buyers are coming in and notice how everything's closing above that EMA um, so the, the buyers just overcame it overran it here 
and I like that repeat pattern. It was a big bearish bar. It didn't manage to break lower, but on the very next bar, it broke higher, and uh, well, it, it closed on its high at least. And then, um, so I like going long right there. There's a kind of a trap right here. Notice that bearish bar, and then it breaks it, it, it breaks lower and 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 closes and breaks out the high side there. But I'm leery to go long right there into that double, triple top right there. So I didn't mark that. It would have worked. Um, and I suppose there's there's enough room to the uh, the overnight highs, certainly. Um, but yeah, no, I just didn't mark that trade. I don't I don't think that's a really safe clear setup. Um, and so notice you got this kind of two-tiered channel working higher, and it makes a, a nice high right there. Um, you, know, you get a first entry pullback, second entry short right here, and you get that reversal pattern. Um, it's not really a second entry short right here because there was an equal low, and so technically all of this is still your first entry. Um, and you actually get a second entry right here. There's not a lot of risk there. It's just a three tick bar, um, but you've definitely you've got a bearish reversal pattern going here, and everything's closing below the EMA now. It's it's looking pretty good. There's also a trend line. I didn't draw it. As you can see that that fits well, and so that little tiny bar is right off the trend line. And you can tell how quickly that moved down. So um, again, I wasn't, I wasn't. This is when I was logging in. No, I wasn't logging in for work, but I was dealing with a, a car issue actually. Um, so that was a nice little second entry short counting from the high. First entry pullback, second entry short, and then you get you get your failed second entry long right here. I think it's a bit aggressive. Notice the high, first entry long pullback second entry long but you're way down here below the EMA and 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 <laughs> it's been kind of a theme today where these uh, these setups to go short way down here below the EMA they don't seem to be working out too well today so I marked that as aggressive I mean for all intents and purposes it is a official failed second entry long and it does work below there is 28 and a quarter so 28 and you're looking for 27, you get 26.50. So that definitely would have worked for the short, and it bounces. Uh, I drew this line while this price action was happening here. I drew this line, and of course dragged the uh, the upper line there and anchored it off of those couple of highs. And notice what happened. It came right into play. This, we had this channel working higher, so I was hesitating to go short right there. Uh, and that's anyway, that's just a first entry. But notice what happens here. You get that break of the short-term trend line. Everything's closing inside that major trend line there. Um, and you get this bullish bar, and you get a second entry long that fails. Notice from the low, you got a first entry long. All that is a first entry long. And it pulls back, and there's your second entry long. But again, you don't want to go long above the EMA, usually. Um, I mean, unless it's just a really strong uptrend. And this is not a really strong uptrend. If anything, this is a range type day. Um, and you're running right into this potential trend line, which again, you're able to get that from those first couple of lows. So don't go long there, and instead, go short when it fails um, and that's a really pretty bearish bar so I like that for the failed second entry long uh, and then it kinda goes sideways in here but notice the high first entry pull back second entry long and it fails and you could even add on for this one as it tries again to go higher it uh, runs into that double top almost there and fails again and goes lower. Um, so I went short with a limit order because I had missed this. I was on the phone 
I went short there, I had to sweat this, and then by the time I was feeling kind of nervous about it, so I went ahead and closed the trade, unfortunately, and could have gotten my full my full scalp, but uh, anyway, and that's pretty much the end of the day. Not a lot of volume today, not a lot of good clear setups, a couple of nice three nice longs in here that I really liked and I really like this short that was a nice trade good setup pretty pretty darn clear um, but there were some other trickier setups and some traps today so anyway that's it for me I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching